shoe leather. You guys have it so easy now. Whenever I talk to Whipple, Bruce the Whipple, he says, these kids don't understand what shoe leather means. I rode buses to meetings. I took trains across the country because I couldn't afford airfare. And depending on what story you want to believe, he left Scotland when he was seven or he was 13 and he, he lived in the hull of a ship or with wrath. I don't know any of that bullshit's true. I do know he had no money and he was poor. And I believe his dad was a carpenter or a joiner as they said in those days. And he had a little or no education. That, and he developed a no equity, meaning no outside investors, debt only model that we use today in QLA. And I give all the credit that he's due, Mr. Kanye. Well, arguably, if you give it a present value for the wealthy, he had it was the richest guy on the planet ever. Okay. And then, Mr. Pena, that was the moment when he hired Napoleon Hill. Uh, Napoleon Hill, uh, he hired to write the book uh, for 20 years, uh, and he paid him no money. And he pulled out his watch, uh, and he asked him, are you going to do this after a, the weekend? We're talking about the weekend off YouTube. And he gave him 60 seconds, supposedly. Some stories say he made the decision in 26 seconds. Some stories say he made it in 36 seconds. I'll do it. And he spent 20. I wouldn't have taken me 20 years to write that motherfucking book. I mean, are you kidding me? I would have written it in two weeks. But he went around and visited all 500. Shoe leather. You guys have it so easy now. Whenever I talk to Whipple, Bruce the Whipple, he says, these kids don't understand what shoe leather means. I rode buses to meetings. I took trains across the country because I couldn't afford airfare. I stayed in a place called um, the library. It's been written down now. In Manhattan on Friday afternoon at 4 or 4.30, drinks, 50 cents, all you could eat. They had a buffet like 100 feet long. I used to put food in the pockets of my motherfucking suit wrapped up in napkins. My room was $49 a night, had no toilet. Only a sink, and I pissed in the sink. You guys don't even, you have, you have no fucking clue. And now you got internet, and all you guys is jack off on the porn. We're weak, it's over. We're through as a species, Doc. We're through. It's sad, but it's perfect for us. Because we're in a rape, pillage, and motherfucking plunder in a legal, moral, and ethical manner. It's like taking candy. Last time I said that, I got a lot of, it's like taking candy from a baby. And I got all kind of shit on the internet. Oh, you take candy from a baby? We know you were just a bastard yet. It's like taking candy from a baby. That's how easy it is. Do you have any idea if we put one of you up against Trump in a negotiation scenario, what would happen to you? He'd leave you for dead. That is a question that I want to ask. He killed his partner, the guy in the helicopter. I don't know that. I don't know that. No? I don't know. No, I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know. But I'm sure if it was true, CNN would be all over it. It was not an accident. I don't believe it. Well, I, well, I don't believe in accidents. Too. If I'm going to kill, I'm going to put a bullet in your fucking head. I'm not going to blow up a helicopter. It, it, maybe I'll kill a bunch of other people. Now, so, I mean, if I could paint a scenario, I didn't think, I, I've said this on the internet a bunch of times, I didn't think I'd live long enough to ever see it like this again. But this makes the 80s look like a nursery rhyme. I'm one of the people that say they fucked up the world finance because I raped, pillaged, and plundered the world in the 80s. Which I, I was part of that group. But I mean, what's, what's being done now makes the 80s look like a nursery rhyme. A nursery rhyme. I mean, in the 80s, I mean, uh, if we had had money for free, they're giving money away. The lowest interest rates in 5,000 years. And what have you done? Nothing. But you're here. So that's the good news. But when you go out in a week from tomorrow or today, whenever it is, you got to pull the trigger. And just like when we gave the uh, guidelines from Boone Pickens' 90th birthday party, I mean, you got to pull the trigger and don't overanalyze the stuff. I mean, this, this is, I'm not prone to analysis anyway, but the, um, you just got to go out and get the shit done and just pull the trigger time after time after time after time. And then and surround yourself with as pristine a, a, a board as you possibly can that have experience. You want at least 100, 120, 130 years of experience. That If you have six people, that means roughly 20 years apiece, plus yourself, or seven people. We've got some boards that have 250 years experience. And when you write up your mission statement, you know, you know, we, we are in, and we'll teach you how to write all this shit. We're an investment consortium existing of 236 years of transaction experience, quantifiable in $117 billion, over 318 trans, that's kind of, not fluff. You're not making up the numbers, but you, you go through and find out what everybody's background is, and then you put that down, and it is fucking impressive. It's impressive. And then, it, you know, it just, it just, it's dead simple. It, it's dead simple. But it's a numbers game, and not everybody's gonna love your, your sales pitch. And for those of you that have been involved in sales, you build a sales funnel, and out of the bottom of that sales funnel will drop transactions, drop transactions.
And the, the more calls you make, the more, it's, uh, uh, and there's a difference, and we're gonna go through this in the next couple, there's a difference between a prospect and a suspect. Just because somebody takes your call doesn't mean you're a prospect. A prospect and a suspect. A prospect is somebody that is motivated to do what you wanna do. And what I'm world class at, I get you to do what you don't wanna do when you don't wanna do it to have what you wanna have in life. I get you to do what you don't want to do, to have what you have, don't, that you don't want to do, but what you want in life. And I know the buttons to push because I've been at it a long, long time. And I've got, you know, a lot of successes. But I've got failures too, don't, you know. Um, but even the failures are rich by the standards of people watching this. Not by mine, but. Even the failures are rich. I told you about the grape picker from Fresno. You know, I've also got a, uh, a lettuce grower and I've got a carnation grower, um, uh, all in the San Joaquin Valley up in that area. Any questions? Who's my uh, five o'clock? Who's my six o'clock? Well, they must be one of the. Uh, the group is not here. Oh, the guy that left. Okay. okay, any questions? What do we eat today? Hmm? In the castle. Okay. Drinks at 7. Dinner at 7.30. Uh, you're going to have uh, two or three movies. You've got, I think, only two things to read and a pine on. Um, and the... Um, Okay, well, and 10 minutes early. Okay, guys, thank you.